How many photos? Just one. Okay. Can you see it, sir? I'm gonna open this now. Oh. Girl. No. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, I know who I know who this is. Oh, this is season two, Juju. She's, uh, God, she's so innocent. Look at that arm. These contours are darker than Trixie Mattel's childhood, girl. Just, just look at her. I had so much hope, um, and I did not know what I was about to go through. Oh, this queen, I remember her so well. I made this outfit. I made this headpiece. Uh, it took me like 30 hours to build this thing. You know, I was wearing like six pairs of bottom lashes that day and my, I look extra, extra exotic here because they were stuck together. When I look at this photo, I just think of hope because I just had so much hope at this time and I still do. And it, it makes me smile every time I see this because it just reminds me that, you know, if you work really, really hard, um, and you never give up, your dreams can come true. I like to call this one Bad Juju because she kind of, she was in her head and would always try her best, but when she wasn't doing so well, she would like fall into that dark place. Because I went through so much on my season and there was so much self-doubt. And I think this Juju is good Juju and the Juju that's ready for the world to know and the juju that should wear the crown. Luckily, since then, I was able to completely give up. So uh, every day feels a lot freer. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God, I totally see the growth, but I still see the drive and the desire um, in this queen. She has, oh man, this queen still inspires me today. I mean, I've gained like 25 pounds, so there's definitely growth. But you know, the, the spiritual growth in me is one of the most important things in my life because I like, I take time for myself, I meditate, I pray, I, uh, I have a chosen family that I can call and like speak to. And this Juju didn't have that. Like this Juju was just somebody who relied on just a few bad people to feel like I was worth something. And now I, I rely on the love and the universe, myself and my close friends. Since season 10, I have become a completely different person. And it means not looking back. And I look at that person in season 10 and I don't even remember who that was, and that's okay. Yeah, is it growth? Who knows, but there's a difference, damn it. I'm proud of this person and I'm proud of who this person has become. And uh, I think she would be proud of the queen that I am today. If I could tell old Cracker one thing, it would be don't, don't try to make history. Just try to make today. That's really what I should have known back then. If you're not thinking about the future so hard, you'll be able to be here right now in this over air conditioned LA hellhole. What I would say to her is girl, hang in there. Um, put on more makeup, get some bigger hair, and learn how to dance. Oh, and learn how to sew, bitch. <laughs> what I would say to her is, um, you're a winner, baby. Hey, make me look likable, all right? Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel, and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.